All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. We are on the sixth movie of Harry Potter already. That's insane to me. But also, I have some very bad news. You may have noticed I'm not using my mic right now. That's because my mic has broke. I, I don't even know what happened. It just, it just stopped. Like, I went to go plug it in and then it just, it didn't turn on. This happened, I tried to turn on this morning for something and then just, it wasn't turning on. I don't know what happened. And then, I don't know, I tried to mess with it as much as I could. It seems like it's a dud, it's broken. I'm actually very hurt because the mic on this camera right now, I'm not a fan of, but we will make do with it for now. But I will definitely be getting a new one of these. So maybe now I'll have a third leg because I'll order a new one. Don't fall ever again. I don't know, what should I do with this one? Should I just like throw it against the wall or something? I don't know. But anyways, we're on the sixth movie of Harry Potter. Um, okay, so we've learned a lot. We had a great confrontation with Voldemort in the last movie. Uh, I'm guessing he's gonna strike again somehow, so... Yeah, that's my guess for this movie. He's gonna be back for this movie. He's gonna try and kill Harry again. You know, I'm just excited to learn more about Harry and everything and the wizard world in this movie, so... So anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, that will be available on Patreon, as well as part two to this video and part two to... Part one, I mean, to the next video will also be available on Patreon, so... Let's get started. Oh, I killed Sirius Black? Piss off. I hate that girl now. I hate her. Hmm, wow, this is cool. Ooh! Ooh, these are Death Eaters? Alright, so they're, they're a problem in the real world too now, not just the wizard world. Oh my god. Ooh! Harry Potter, the chosen one. Fuck yeah, he is. Bridge collapses, death toll rises. Ooh. Ask his lays resident. Yes, Lucius is in Azkaban. Thank God. Fuck that dude. Hey, I was wondering. Eleven. That's when I get off. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> All right, Harry. Time to assemble that fucking army. Oh, unpleasant to behold, isn't it? The tale is Ooh. thrilling, if I say so myself. What happened to his hand? But now is not the time to tell us. Mm, all right, we'll find out later. Oh, he has to stay. Yeah, he's gonna stand her up. <laughs> Whoa. Be wondering why I brought you here. Actually, sir, after all these years, I just sort of go with it. <laughs> Same. Oh, someone broke in. One sound, Harry. Mm, okay, that was today's paper, so this happened like... Oh, yeah, this just happened. Okay, with this blood up there. <laughs> Found you. What? Harry, I'd like you to meet an old friend and colleague of mine, Horace Slughorn. All right, is he better be the new dark arts teacher too? The Death Eaters have been trying to recruit me for over a year. Do you know what that's like? Mm. I only say no to these people so many times, so I never stay anywhere more than a week. That sucks. The Canary Islands. Well, I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Wow. Wow. I need this. I need this in my life. Ah, yes. Regulus Black. Mm. You no doubt know of his older brother Sirius died a oh. few weeks ago. Mm, yeah, I was kind of there. Yes, of course, but you're not leaving, are you? Oh, I think I, I know a lost cause when I see one. Regrettable. <laughs> not here. One of a kind. Mm. Well, bye-bye, Horace. Damn, I feel kind of bad. Uh-huh. He's coming, he's coming. I'll do it. Yes. Sir, exactly what was all that about? You are talented, famous, okay. and powerful. Everything Horace values. Mm. You would be his crowning jewel. That's why he's returning to Hogwarts. And it's crucial mm. he should return. 
Okay, so he's kind of a dickhead, but we do need him, so... Okay. Hedwig. Harry, Harry who? Harry Potter, of course. Harry? Did someone say Harry? <laughs> Ron! Best friend was in my room, wouldn't I? Is that now I heard? <gasps> Hermione! <laughs> Why didn't you let us know you were coming? Because I didn't, I didn't even know I was coming. <laughs> Dumbledore just dropped me off here. Mum sort of lost it last week. Said Ginny and I had no business going back to Hogwarts. Yeah. If this is Hogwarts we're talking about. It's Dumbledore. What could be safer? When has Hogwarts ever been safe, dog? It never has. There hasn't been one school season where it's been safe. I uh, have his Draco gonna tweak now that his dad got put in Azkaban or something. Draco's probably be... Draco's... Uh, He's about to turn into even more of a dickhead, bro. Now he has daddy issues because of this. He thought his dad was so perfect, and now he realizes the truth about his dad. He's about to be so hurt and in denial. And Peter Pettigrew. I hate Peter Pettigrew so much. What, Snape, what, what are you doing? Hello, Wormtail. Why are you with Wormtail? <laughs> the Dark Lord himself forbade me to speak of this. If the Dark Lord has forbidden it, you ought not. Why? Why is Dumbledore talking to these freaking these thoughts? Your sister doubts me. Understandable. Over the years, I've played my part well. So mm. I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. Oh my fucking god! Great wizard, only a fool would question it. I don't doubt mm. you, Severus. You should be honored, Sissy. As for Draco, <sighs> he's just a boy. I can't change the Dark Lord's mind, but it might be possible for me to help Draco. Swear to it. No. Make the unbreakable vow. No. Severus Snape, watch over Draco Malfoy. Ah. Uh. To fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes. Draco's working for Voldemort too. I'm not even surprised. Will you, to the best of your ability, protect him from harm? <sighs> I will. If Draco should fail, will you yourself carry out the deed? What is order to Draco to perform? What's the deed? I will. <sighs> Dude, I fucking knew Snape was a fucking op, guys. I. I literally been calling. I called it as soon as we found out he was a Death Eater. You or used to be a Death Eater. I was like, nah, nah. I, I made. I also asked a question. Was he once a good person who turned, to, who became a Death Eater as a spy in the first place with that intention, you know, then left it, or was he a Death Eater then left it for us? Because there's a fat difference for that. There's a fat difference between those two. Yeah, that one dude was right. Once a Death Eater, always a Death Eater, I guess. I, I just, I always knew there's something up with Voldemort, dude. I always knew it. And now he's gonna protect Draco and help him fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes, wish, whatever the hell that means, means he wants him to do. I don't know. And if Draco fails, Snape will do it, whatever. <sighs> like, even since, ooh. Even since like the first movie, dog, I've been saying Snape, I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. But then like, in the third movie, third movie, I was kind of like, okay, okay. I think he's a bro, I just, but he, in Prisoner of Azkaban, I was like, okay. He's a bro, but he's just kind of a dickhead. And Snape was always on some weird shit, bro. Like, I, I knew it. Is it me or do Draco and Mummy look like two people who don't want to be followed? Hmm. Oh, God. All right, well, at least Harry, Ron, and Hermione know that Draco's doing some fuck shit. Uh, even as, like, the audience, we don't know exactly what we want, what he's trying to do, but we just know he's doing something evil. They don't know if he's, well, they don't know he's doing something evil, but, like, they know he's up to some weird shit. It was a ceremony, an initiation. I know where you're going with this. It's happened. He's one of them. Mm-hmm. One of what? Death Eater. Harry is under the impression Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. Deep <laughs> bro, yes, he is. You're barking. You're, you're barking, bro. Ron has the weirdest phrases. Look, his father is a Death Eater. It only makes sense. Tight, Hermione saw it with her own eyes. I told mm -hmm. you. 
I don't know what I saw. Right. Yes, you do. It's probably just a flash messing around. Come on, Draco. Sit down. Jesus Christ. Everyone's in a casual outfit, and this fool's just in a goddamn. This fool's just fitted out. Oh, like he's better than everyone. All right. Hogwarts. What a pathetic excuse for a school. Jesus Christ. Now that he's a Death Eater, he just thinks he's better. See just who's laughing in the end. Bro. <sighs> he has so much confidence in Voldemort. He has so much anger, too, I feel like. Didn't mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop, Potter? <laughs> no! <laughs> what the hell? What spell was that? Oh. Oh, that's a, no, it's a, de it's a decoy by Potter. She was dead before you could wipe the drool off your chin. <clears throat> oh my god. For my father. Until you ride back to London. Jesus Christ. No, no way. Is that actually Harry? So much hatred, bro. <sighs> Uh, I guess she's gonna find Harry then. I guess it really is Harry. Anikei. Damn. Hello, Harry. Luna, how do you know where I was? Damn, so Draco. Oh my god, his nose. Damn, so Draco really caught Harry lacking like that. Wow. I thought Harry was trying to be. I thought Harry was playing chess right there, being a step ahead, making Draco think. That was actually Harry or something or something like that. But nah, he he for real got him. He got him. Damn. I can vouch for Mr. Mm, Harry noticed they have like a weird relationship going. Fuck you. Nice face, Potter. Fuck you, dude. Need to fix it for you. But have you ever fixed a nose before? Okay, yeah, give it a go. Pisky. Ah! Oh yeah. Oh, that oh, hurt so bad. How do I look? I look good. First off, let me introduce the newest member of our school. The newest Dark Horse. <laughs> uh. Zoom his old post as potions master. Oh, not Dark Arts. Defense against the Dark Arts will be taken by Professor Snape. Oh, okay, because yeah, he did apply for it in the last movie. And Umbridge asked him about it, but he didn't get it. Umbridge did. So now he gets it. All right. Well, I would be happy for him, but he's an op, so fuck him. Once there was a young man sat in this very hall, walked mm. in this castle's corridors. He seemed to all the world a student like any other. Anybody name drop Tom Riddle? Tom Riddle. Let's go! I'm reminded of a sobering fact. Every day, every hour, Dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle's walls. Mm hmm. Their greatest weapon is you. Is you? Wow. It's deep. Now, off to bed. <laughs> yeah, thanks for telling me that. They sent me off to bed. Dumbledore's like, oh, I also all of, I need all of you to sign a waiver just in case. Just in case they get through. Take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. Ah! <laughs> oh, Harry, my boy, I'm beginning to worry. Oh, thank God Hermione's in this class. Thank God. Oh, that girl's obsessed with Ron. But these might be. Yes, <laughs> a powerful infatuation or obsession. And for that reason, it is probably the most dangerous potion in this room. Yeah, I'm gonna use that later. But it is more commonly referred to as... Liquid luck. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, this book is edited. It's gonna tell us a different way. Mm. How did you do that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, the instructions specifically say to cut. Mm. My instructions are a little bit better, Hermione. Mine are a little bit more updated. Someone obviously got pissed off and rewrote the instructions. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hermione, you're here. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Professor Slughorn is most impressed with you. Yeah, I like you did, sir. Pertaining to one individual, Voldemort, as it was known then, Tom Riddle. This file contains the most particular memory of the day I first met him. I'd like you to see it, if you will. All right, well, see it. That's pretty cool. You can see a memory this way. That's pretty sick. Yes, Tom's been here. He's never once had a family visitor. 
Mm -hmm. Sus. I can make animals do what I want without training them. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. Mm. I can make them hurt if I want. Oh, shit won't work on me, son. I'm different. Prove it. I thought that was gone. I was like, what? Like, super, super quick glance. I was like, what? I can speak to snakes, too. Yeah, speak sparsel tongue. Yeah, but the Voldemort just realized he's the air Slytherin. Is that normal for someone like me? No. I mean, you're a very, very special kid, then. Did you know, sir? Then? Mm. Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. I mean, it was a huge fucking red flag, but... If I mm. had, I... I would have killed him right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I would have off him as soon as possible if I knew what he was gonna be, what he was gonna become. You didn't bring Professor Slughorn back simply to teach potions, did you, sir? No. You see, Professor Slughorn possesses something I desire very dearly, but he will not give it up easily. You said Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. Yes. Do you want me to let him? Pro probably, yeah. Just, oh, okay. Bro, is Slughorn a Death Eater too, or something? <gasps> oh, bitch. Yeah, this is only gonna last for so long, though. You know, they'll get through eventually. Bro, his hairline's older. His hairline's already receding. Hmm. Oh, Ron. Ron looks like Sam in the Nice Watch. In, like, episode three. Like, when Sam first showed up. No, oh, we're, oh, we're coaches now? All right. All right. Um, now then, remember, just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a spot this year. Is that clear? Oh, Ron is not making the team. I'm sorry. I... Keepers need to be quick. Agile. <laughs> I like my chances. Say, so, um, think you could introduce me to your friend Granger? No. Mind, uh, getting on a first-name basis, know what I mean? Jeez. Oh, that made Ron feel like shit, dude. Come on. Oh. Dude, she really wants Ron to make the team. I feel like Hermione does not like that guy, I feel like. Not at all. Come on, Ron. Ron looks so scared. Oh. Come on, Ron. Dude, Hermione wants him to make it so bad, too. I'm so nervous. <gasps> oh, oh, what? Oh, moved him out of the way. Mm. Good shit, Hermione. Make him look worse. Okay, Ron. That's Hermione. <laughs> a bit of a thing for you, Hermione. Cool, Mike. Oh, he's telling her. He's vile. Yeah, she doesn't like him. Oh my god, Ron, go talk to that girl already. Damn. If you had a shred of self-respect, you'd hand that book in. Ooh, yep, all the advanced stuff. Slughorn thinks he's a genius. I'd like to know who that book was. Let's have a look, shall we? No. No, get away. Go away. The binding is fragile. <laughs> the binding is fragile. I don't want her mind to know anything. No, Ginny! Ginny, what are you doing? Who's the Half-Blood Prince? Who? This book is property of the Half-Blood Prince. Oh, fuck. Last well, name of the movie, so someone important. Wait, didn't they say that in the last movie? Who it was or something? I know they said I, they have said Half Blood Prince before, but I don't know who. Like, okay, oh, we're gonna find out. Who cares? I'm I want. I'm pretty sure they have said the words, the Half Blood Prince in the past movies. Somewhere in the past movies, I'm pretty sure they have said it, but I don't recall them saying who it was. But we're gonna find out who it was in it. We're gonna find out who it is anyway. So whatever.